Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite things ever, shopping. If you don't know, now you know I am a shopaholic. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have already kind of figured this out on your own. I love to shop and I think with all of my shopping experience, I have really learned how to shop smart. I have learned some things, and so today we're specifically going to be covering some really cool Sephora shopping hacks that you might not even know about. I'm going to show you how you can really kind of play the system, how you can save some money here and there. Also, today's the first day for certain beauty insiders at Sephora of their annual sale. It's like their biggest sale that they do every single year at the beginning of November. I will get into a little bit more detail about that and how you can also make sure that you're shopping as smart as possible. Okay, I'm really excited for this. I love a good sale. I love some good shopping hacks. I love shopping in general. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So first hack, gotta be probably my favorite hack, maybe out of all of them, which is the ability to return things even after you've used them. Yes, you can do that. So literally as long as the product is more than half full, you can go ahead and return it. Like no questions asked, here you go, they'll take it, you'll get your money back for the full product, and that's it. So where this really is super beneficial in my opinion is for complexion products, for example. Like if you're getting a foundation, you're not 100% sure, the lighting isn't always the greatest in Sephora stores. So what you can actually do is if you have enough money to be able to purchase the full size product, you can go ahead and do that without being 100% sure take it home, do your makeup, maybe even a couple times. Maybe you try it in the daytime, then you try it at night, and you really spend some time with the product, using it with your other products, see how it works with that, and then if you decide, hey, you know what, this is really not working for me, and there's more than half of the product left, take it right back to Sephora, girl. Also for hair products, if you use something one time, you can usually tell, especially if it's a wash and go, you can usually tell mm -mm, right away whether or not it actually works for your curls. You don't have to sit down with that product anymore. You can literally take it back to Sephora and get your money right back, try something else. You know what I mean? Like. I believe there may be a cutoff date now. There never used to be like years ago. I want to say it's like a year. If you've had the product over a year, you can't take it back. But if it's within that year, girl, and it's over half full, go get your money back and try something new. It is, I just, I love this. So of course you gotta make sure that you save your receipts. Actually, if you are a beauty insider, you actually don't have to sit down and save your receipts because every time you make a purchase, it's linked to your beauty insider account. And I can say this for a fact because I've done this even this year, a couple of times where I've bought things and I'm like, mm, not so sure. I just take it right back, no receipt. They scan my beauty insider's card and boom. So yeah, amazing, don't forget this. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, okay? So let's talk about being a beauty insider. A beauty insider is nothing super special for me, like for Sephora squad members only, no. Literally everybody, even you watching right now, you can be a beauty insider in two seconds. It's literally very easy. You just click a link, I'll link it in the description box below so you guys can check it out if you like, but you literally just sign in, put your name, do a little profile, put in your email, and boom. Your beauty insider. So there are many other advantages to being a beauty insider apart from just not having to save your receipts in case you do want to return something. You also get to rack up points on every single purchase. So when you're going online and let's say you've, you know, you've accumulated a bunch of points over your last couple of purchases, you can actually then use your points to purchase little like whatever items they have in the little rewards bizarre things the more points it costs it's usually the more nicer products so this is another really great way to kind of try products most of the time when you're buying something with points it's like a deluxe sample size another very exciting thing about being a beauty insider is that you get a birthday gift every single year so my birthday just passed I actually just got mine it was like a little Laneige gift set with like a lip balm they have my favorite lip balms in the entire world I wear their lip sleeping mask every single single night so when I saw that they had that option for a birthday gift I said say less give it to me because I literally can't I actually 
cannot live without it. So yeah, for your birthday month, you have like the full month to be able to go in and just pick up your little thing. If you're gonna order online, you can even, you know, click at checkout. It'll be like, get your birthday gift to this month. It knows when it's your birthday. You pick whichever one you want. Usually you can pick between like two or three choices of something and get your little free gift. It's always really cute and fun and it just makes you feel a little extra special on your birthday. Again, another new way to keep trying new products. All right, so hack number three, I'm not sure if everybody or anybody really knows this but you can literally ask for free samples of anything that they can easily sample for you in the store like for example a pressed powder like a blush or something that's not gonna be something that they can like you know break off and give you a piece of but like when it comes to more liquid and cream products body lotions moisturizers hair products foundation you can literally ask for a free sample and they'll give it to you the Sephora employees have these tiny little clear jars and they'll just go get their jar fill it up with your little sample and boom that's it so that's another way if you don't feel like buying a full foundation having to go home with it realizing you don't like it having to go back to return it and get a new one like if you don't feel like going through that entire process get samples of all the shades you think may work for you so that way you could actually go home with all your samples make sure to use them before they go bad though because some foundations don't um, sit really well inside of the little sample jar thing so that's just something to note FYI it's happened to me before I've had a foundation dry up because I forgot about it and then I realized it was there and then it was dried up and it was not okay but still a great way for you to get to try the product because when you go home with a bunch of shades and you figure out which one is actually yours if you're kind of lazy like I get lazy sometimes I don't like going into Sephora all the time so a lot of times I order online so if you got your little samples the last time you went and then you finally figured out what shade works for you which moisturizer work for you whatever you can then just go online and order it so that way you don't have to go physically back into the store it's just i feel like these hacks make the shopping experience very easy very fun very hassle free knowing that i can return if i need to knowing that i can get free samples if i need to like these are the reasons why I've gotten so obsessed with Sephora and I will say I am a Sephora addict okay so this hack number four actually is for my fellow Sephora addicts okay if you are the once a year Sephora shopper I wouldn't necessarily suggest this for you but if you are like me and every time Fenty drops something new add to cart every time your favorite influencer maybe me <laughs> Every time I mention something, you're like, boom, add to cart. If you are constantly shopping at Sephora, and I mean not even necessarily like every month, but like if it's at least like every other month, y'all, you need to get the Sephora credit card. Let me tell you, this Sephora credit card has been amazing. So I actually had heard about the Sephora credit card for the longest time, but when you see companies coming out with credit cards, it's like, you're trying to scam me, you're trying to get more money out of me, like what, what is this? Um, but actually I went into store one day and the guy was like you're a VIB Rouge and Rouge is the top tier of Beauty Insider. It basically means that you spend a thousand dollars at Sephora per year. That just goes to show how much money I spend. They take all my money. But anyways, when I was checking out that day, the guy was like, girl, you will save so much more money if you sign up for the credit card. So I literally at the register sign up for the credit card right then and there and you get i can't even remember what the percentage is hold on let me look it up because i don't want to tell y'all the wrong percentage i want to tell y'all the real deal okay so here it is you get four percent back so basically every time that you spend money at sephora you get four percent of that money back which equates to every time you spend 125 dollars you get five dollars in rewards back and then you also get a 15 percent off discount off your first purchase with your sephora credit card so you get that initial beginner's discount and then every single time you continue purchasing you're making money back so technically you're, you're never ever really paying for anything like super full price you're you're gonna accumulate that back so let me tell you how exciting this is okay it's very exciting I ended up going to Sephora with a friend went to go check out a perfume and I was like all right fine the only thing I can get is this perfume because you know me trying to do a little bit better not spend like my entire life savings at Sephora um get to the cashier and she actually says wow you actually have a $40 reward that you can use right now I literally ended up spending only like 20 bucks on something that was supposed to be way more expensive I what it was just a really nice surprise so it's kind of like the more you spend 
which you would end up spending anyway, is the more rewards you get back. You know what I mean? And then what you could do is sit and let, well, actually don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% sure if when you get those rewards, if they have like an expiry date. But I think you can, like, at least for a little bit of time, you can let them accumulate. So, like, during the holiday season, which is when I really should have saved my rewards for, but I'm sure I'm going to have more by, like, tomorrow. But you can accumulate that so that whenever you need to make a big purchase, you can use that as a discount and make that big purchase not feel so bad on your wallet. It honestly, like it's been great. I don't have to pay any extra fees for having the credit card. The one thing I do make sure to do is make sure I pay it off on time. I actually pay it off whenever I use it. Where they get you with these credit cards is the interest rates are mad high. I don't even wanna tell you what the interest rate is. I can't even remember. It's somewhere in the double digits. It's not a nice interest rate. So you don't wanna get caught slipping. Only get this if you know you're gonna be financially responsible because the interest rates will get you but if you're gonna pay it off and you constantly love to shop at sephora and you you just want a little money back you want little surprise rewards that feel very exciting you will absolutely love the sephora credit card 12 out of 10 I'll recommend all right so hack number five not really a hack but something that i really want to talk about because it's literally happening right now and that's sephora's annual beauty insider sale this literally happens every year it's always the first week of november it is always very exciting for me <laughs> this is one of like the very few times where everything goes on sale it's not just oh there's a sale off of the sale items blah 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 Everything is on sale at Sephora and it makes me very, very happy. So there are different tiers when it comes to the Beauty Insider levels. You do get a couple of fun little perks being at the different levels when it comes to this annual sale. So Rouge, call it all my Rouge fam. Our sale starts today. I'm sorry, Insiders and VIB, it doesn't start for you yet. We get first access because we are the ones who spend our entire life savings at Sephora. I genuinely believe I deserve shares. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips actually to make sure that you are getting all the bang for your buck when it comes to this annual sale. So first tip, make sure you prep your cart. My cart is prepped and ready to go at all times. <laughs> but especially now because I know the sale is coming up, I don't wanna be fumbling and looking through things and then things are going out of stock and blah, 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 getting frustrated. I really like to sit down and prep my cart from beforehand. Now in terms of what you purchase, it's really, really important to sit down and think about exactly what you need, when do you need it, what do you need it for, and how expensive are these items that you need. The reason why I'm saying this is because you just wanna make sure you're shopping smart. I have noticed that every time the annual sale is over, that is when all of the brands start having their really fun, amazing, beautiful holiday collections launching and everything. And that's fine, it's marketing. That's just the way it works, right? And the reason why I'm telling you this is because it's just important to have that in the back of your mind. If you know that you are gonna want some holiday specific collections, make sure that you're setting aside a bit of your budget for that because that is 100% coming right after the annual sale. Don't get me wrong, there will still be a couple of holiday themed things in there from certain brands. So don't feel like you can't get anything holiday. If you like Christmas themed and maybe you wanna get stuff on a discount, then now is the time. If you're gonna fall for the new stuff, which I usually do anyways, <laughs> um, make sure you're setting aside a, a little bit of budget for that. Like don't like spend your full budget on the sale. So when you're thinking about what you do need to purchase from the annual sale, think of high priced items. For example, I'm always raving about my Dyson. Cannot live without it. It's extremely hard to find it on sale. It's a $400 dryer. I get it. That hurts. That's a lot. But now because it sold at Sephora, you know that this one time a year, every beginning of November, you will be able to snag it for less, which is very, very exciting because I constantly tell you guys how much I love it. And maybe this might be able to make it a little bit more affordable for you to maybe treat yourself for Christmas or something. Other items you may want to consider are restock items. What items do you absolutely love and know you absolutely can't live without? You're gonna be purchasing them anyway, so why not snag it now while you're able to catch them on sale, you know what I mean? It's also actually a great opportunity to purchase Christmas gifts. I'm personally actually gonna be doing that myself. I have a lot of things in my cart. Surprisingly, this year, I'm thinking ahead. Buying Christmas gifts at a discount, always, always 
a win. But yeah, literally, this is the entire thought process I go through every single year for the Sephora sale. It is like a real thing for me. I just genuinely love Sephora. And you know what? I love the fact that they hit all categories. They've got home fragrance now. They've got body fragrance, skincare, makeup, obviously, curly hair care, tons of black owned brands now that just continue to be added. They even have wellness stuff. Like it's just a little bit of everything. So it's a really great one stop shop for yourself and also your Christmas gifts. I feel like these hacks have really saved me a lot of money. I be spending, but it has also helped to kind of save me a lot of money and just helped me shop a little bit smarter. So yeah guys, I hope this was super helpful. I do have a blog post that I just recently updated. And when I say updated, I don't mean I just added things. I have been going through and taking things off as well. It's an ongoing blog post of all my favorite stuff at Sephora. And sometimes I'll try something new and I'll be like, oh my gosh, that's the new favorite. I prefer this over that. So I'll take the old thing off and add the new thing on. So I really, really work hard to make sure it's fully updated for you guys. I also do like a little mini description of why I love it under each item and I literally include like everything, skincare, makeup, all the things, fragrance, like hair, obviously, all the things. So if you guys are interested in checking out what my favorites are, it's just an easy way for you to know exactly what is LIS approved and you don't have to question it. It's bomb.com for sure, okay? <laughs> so I'll link my blog post in the description box below for you guys to check out. And yeah, happy shopping. Hope you get your bang for your buck. And I can't wait to see all the amazing things you guys purchase. Okay, make sure you tag me in your Sephora hauls. I will also probably on Instagram show you guys what I'm buying from the sale. I will most likely make multiple purchases. That's usually what happens every year. I do like a big purchase and then I'm like, oh, let me get these things too. And I do another purchase. Sometimes breaking it up just mentally makes me feel better about spending such a large amount of money. Oh my gosh, I'm really putting myself on blast. But this is really what I be doing, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, happy shopping. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.